everyone, this is David from Automotive Press, and I know that the whole discussion around 2022 Toyota Tundra has been both fascinating and frustrating. It's fascinating because of the amazing technology and new features we're going to get with the 2022 Tundra, but it's also frustrating because it just keeps being delayed over and over again, and we are all waiting for official words from Toyota with official videos and photos. So I wanted to give you uh, uh, something to think about because I know many of you guys said, hey, my car is due for a change. I can't wait anymore or I don't know what to do. I, I like the V8. I'm not sure if I'm going to like the twin turbo V6. So here's one idea I have in place that you can consider for uh, transitioning from the current Tundra to the new one or to decide what to do. Do I, do you want to buy the, somehow get hold of the current Tundra or do you want to wait for the new one? So here's one idea that I have. So just uh, stay with me. If you don't mind, I'm going to use old fashioned way as an automotive engineer. We still use a lot of the whiteboarding. So stay with me as I just go through this as a strategy. <clears throat> now, most of you guys know I have worked in Japan, I'm born and raised in Japan, worked for Toyota and other Japanese companies, but I'm also a business strategist and I give consulting advice to hundreds of companies throughout the world on business strategy. So this one is kind of like business strategy, but for car buying process. So if you recall, and if you watched my previous videos, you know that uh, we are right now in the main time frame, and we are still getting leaked photos and so forth from through my channel for example but not the real photo yet now i said that looks like june 17th is a time when toyota will allow the dealers and the dealer managers to see see the uh, 2022 tundra apparently that's the date for a sneak peek of the final version of the tundra so that's uh, coming up very soon and then i said that in my previous videos, a couple of weeks after that is when you will see it. Uh, the rest of us will see the new Tundra. And so because the Chicago Auto Show is finally uh, revealed for July 15th timeframe this year, so it's the first time that an actual physical auto show will take place in Chicago. Uh, but the one day before is the media day. So July 14th is when the, the journalists and media, people like ourselves, can actually physically go to Chicago Auto Show and watch new unveilings. So I suspect, because there's a long history of Toyota launching trucks and SUVs at the Chicago Auto Show, which is normally in February of each year, I suspect they're going to for sure show the Tundra in physical format on July 14th during the media preview. So that's the 2022 Tundra that we are all waiting for. It should finally be unveiled no later than July 14th. We might see it before that time. So now what happens? Well, he, uh, in August timeframe, a full specification will show up and pricing will all should be available at that time. But it's going to take a few months before we're actually going to get the truck. So the Tundra is not gonna show up to dealership until November, possibly December. Even then, the 22 Tundras is going to be in very limited numbers. The production ramp up will be slow to ensure good quality. And so we're not gonna get a huge number. And unless you are prepared to put some deposit right now here in May timeframe, you are not going to get one of the first uh, allocation for the Tundra. And anyways, you might not want to get the first uh, allotment because you might want to wait a little bit to buy uh, once that's coming up later. So you're gonna put a big gap here of a good six, seven month that you have to wait. And most people, most of you might say, I don't want to wait that long. Well, unfortunately, not only that, it's going to be until about March time frame that dealers will get uh, sufficient stock of the 2022 Toyota Tundra so it's not gonna be until spring of next year when you can probably choose your own color and the type of, um, you know, the type of uh, models you want in a Tundra lineup. It's going to be quite a while. So we're looking at almost 10 months from now on, right? And by the time we hit May and June and July, we're going to see a 2023 version of the Tundra. 
Again, probably at the Chicago Auto Show, if that's kept in July, it might move back to February next year. So now I'm also suspecting, uh, in terms of the lineup reveal, the TRD Pro will show up uh, in uh, summer, of, uh, summer of 2022 next year as a 2023 model year. And so if you want the TRD Pro, you're gonna have to wait quite a bit anyways. Uh, so in either case, the 2023 Tundra won't show up until again, October timeframe in small numbers and probably December to have any meaningful uh, inventory at the dealership. So that basically means that we're looking at May right now and if you're waiting, you're going to have to wait at least 10 months for a good inventory. And then possibly until December of next year, if you want to the TRD Pro or the hybrid, I suspect the hybrid will show up around the fall of, the, of next year as well. So that's a long way. So instead of worrying about, hey, do I want to wait that long? I'm tired of waiting. Do I want a new Tundra or do I buy the current one? My suggestion is to go ahead right now be over the next couple months to go ahead and look for 2020 or 2021 if you can find it tundra with your legendary v8 engine the v8 engine that most of us really love and most of us are very upset about losing that v8 engine in the new model i would say go ahead and look for either a brand new one which is really hard to find almost impossible to find now or uh, even maybe 2019 or 2020 late model Tundra because they don't depreciate too much anyway. And then keep that until the fall of next year in 2021. So that means you will keep the Tundra if you buy one now and you will keep it for about a year and a half, right? So give or, give or take uh, 16 to 18 months. During that time, because the Tundra is still pretty rare, and because the new Tundra will be such, in such a short supply, the current generation Tundra will keep a really, really good resale value with a very, very small amount of depreciation. And if people are really upset about the new Tundra with the twin turbo V6, then they are, uh, might even appreciate to some degree if you bought a used one, or at least they will hold their value because people might say that was the V8 Tundra of the past, we can't get it anymore. We still want the V8 Tundra, and so therefore you, you are not going to lose very much money, if anything at all, if you bought the current Tundra and you keep it till the fall of 2021, you're not gonna lose much money. And then at that point, you had plenty of time here to go and test drive the new Tundra, uh, maybe even two or three times. Maybe you will hear uh, other people buying the new Tundra and you will hear feedback about the quality, about the service, the maintenance work. So you have lots of time to evaluate by yourself on your own, and you will have lots of time to see other people's evaluation of the new Tundra. And then you can decide if you don't want the new twin turbo Tundra or you don't like the design, well then keep the 2020, 2021 Tundra with a V8, and that's your car for the next two to three years. You don't even have to sell it. But if you are finding that people love the new Tundra, people don't mind the twin turbo V6 and the feedback and evaluation is great, and you're hearing from people like us that it's the most amazing truck ever, then go ahead and trade in that truck, the current Tundra, for the new version, and you will likely lose very little money. So that way you have the best of both worlds. You get to buy the current V8 Tundra, you get to enjoy the V8 engine, and then you get to test drive and evaluate the new version, the twin turbo V6, the 3.5 liter one, and compare the two and decide back to back uh, which one is the one that you will like better. So then you have a choice, keep it or leave it. And so that's my strategy in case you're wondering what is the best thing to do while waiting for the new Tundra because I know it's kind of frustrating and it's a long overdue process, but here's a quick strategy buy the current model or slightly used one, keep it for a year to year and a half during which time you can evaluate the new model and then decide if you still want the new one or you want to keep the old one. I think that's the safest way to do it. Now, if you can't find the stock of the current Tundra, 
you may want to buy like a Ford F-150, which also has a good resale value, uh, or buy a, a Tacoma for now, which is obviously smaller, uh, and maybe it's not quite the right truck for you, but they keep such a good value because you have such a low uh, depreciation, you can buy a Tacoma also and keep it for a year and a half. But either way, you have time to evaluate. So this is what we do in the business world, is to come up with a few scenarios, but ultimately to reduce the risk, what we call risk mitigation, and to find the best solution that will be a win-win. And I know you might be anxious to buy the new Tundra right away when it comes out, but letting, uh, letting it run for a year, you know, it's only better because the uh, production system will improve, the quality will improve, and some of the bugs and uh, problems will go away during that one year of production in San Antonio, Texas. So I think it's a very sound, uh, sound strategy. You let me know if this makes sense to you. It's a simple suggestion from Automotive Engineer. Uh, please comment on below and let me know what you think. Uh, and then shortly, hopefully June 17th or shortly after that, we will finally get to see the real 2022 Tundra.